I don't normally drop two videos this close together in the same day, but I would like to answer some questions that people have been asking down in the comment section. Many have said, Florida Maquis, are you ever going to do any more guitar videos? Well, the guitar videos that you've seen so far were really never meant for public consumption. The image that you see in front of you now is my living room, and I'm slowly trying to convert it into some type of a basic recording studio. Now, I've never really been all that good at the engineering end of it, meaning the side where you go in and mix and record and uh, make the final product. These videos of me playing guitar on the couch were only done so that I could have a record of having learned a song. In case in the future I hadn't played it for a while and I was trying to remember how to do it, I could always just reference the video, go back, and watch myself play the, gu the guitar, the song, and then I would be able to pick it back up. It was the only reason I did it. It was years and years and years ago. So hopefully by Christmas time, perhaps I might have some new stuff up if I can figure out how to do all of the engineering end. But there is another topic I would like to discuss. Now that President 45 has apparently moved back into Mar-a-Lago, there has been some discussion about the governor and a presidential run and whether he'll promise uh, President 45 he won't run. I will promise you that Ron DeSantis has no interest in Washington, D.C. First of all, he has a sick wife and three little babies at home. It would be incredibly selfish to ask him to move up to that shithole, given that situation. And anybody who's read the man's book knows that he understands clearly the Constitution calls for state government. That's where all the power is. This is a district of criminals and Governor Ron DeSantis would not fit in, nor would he fix anything. When was the last time you heard anybody in Washington, D.C. say, the idea that you can push, just push God out of every institution and be successful, I'm sorry, our founding fathers did not believe that. Do you think a man like this would fit in well in Washington, D.C.? I don't. He wouldn't fix anything. It took a long time for Florida to create the environment where a man like Ron DeSantis could flourish. Two to one command of our state house, 60-40 majority in the Senate, and complete control of the courts. Only under those circumstances could a man like Governor DeSantis be elected to the governor's office and have a real effect. See, people need to be taught why America was founded, what the principles that made our country unique were. They need to be taught that our rights do not come from government, no matter who's in D.C., 45, 46, 43, 44, whoever. They come from God. Ron DeSantis. The formerly... United States, the failed country north of our border here in Florida, has veered so far away from the truth that those who actually tell the truth will face fire. And I am predicting that a lot of Trump supporters are not going to like Ron DeSantis, and that's fine. Because those people want top-down governance. They want somebody to solve their problems for them from Washington, D.C., See, that type of society goes after truth-tellers more than anything because those who tell the truth threaten their power. In times like these, there's no substitute for courage. That's why President 45 is whining and scrounging and grousing about Governor DeSantis not coming out and forcefully denying any type of a run. He's busy. He has a sick wife and three babies at home. He has a sick wife and three babies at home, and even when... The current occupier of the West Wing was here in Florida. He was treated with respect. 
Because that's what decent men do. Even with those they disagree with. They treat them with respect. People are so sick of constantly being bossed around, restricted, mandated. It's important to speak up for people's individual right to make decisions for themselves. Is that a Washington, D.C. value? Is that a Washington, D.C. value? You see, the man on the left here has been a servant. You see, when asked to serve, he didn't whine about sore feet or find a way to get out of it. He served. And I'm sure to his own peril and in pain. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. There's a certain person, President 45, I don't think anyone could accuse of ever humbling himself. And make no mistake, if it comes right down to it, we're in charge, not 46. Case in point, when Governor DeSantis ordered the Florida National Guard back home from D.C., they still wanted them to remain, but the governor's order overrode the wishes of 46 and Pelosi. And they got on a plane, and they came back to Florida. You see, pure religion and undefiled before God And the father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. This was at the funeral for Bobby Bowden. And to keep himself unspotted from the world. I'll say it a third time. The man has a sick wife and three little babies at home. How selfish would you have to be? How selfish and self-centered would you have to be to ask him to pick them up and drag them into that shithole up there just outside of Baltimore? How horrible. I I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I'll be very honest. They belong right here. In Florida. Safe under our protection. The rest of you, with respect, figure it out. Read his book. Read his book that he wrote back in 2010. And while you're doing that, he wrote the book in 2010, published in 2011. Why don't you take a look real close to what was going on with 45 in 2010, and where his money was going, and who he was giving money to. I think it might surprise you. Criminals don't obey laws, so when you put somebody in charge who has respect for the rule of law, what do you think is going to happen? I didn't mean for this to be too sharp, But there's been so much garbage going on around around this idea that I think it was time to lay the law down about it. He has filed to run for one more term as the governor of Florida. He was elected in 19. He's up in 22. It's three-year terms. So he'll serve 2019 to 2022. That's his first term. 2022 to 2025 will be his second term. And that will be the end of that. And then he'll go be a dad. Which is how it should be. Which is how all service should be. No one should ever be seen singularly as the great savior of this or the great fixer of that. You see, that is a Washington, D.C. value. This whole personality cult needs to go away. Those of you marching around with the Constitution, perhaps get a magnifying glass out and start reading it carefully. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and...
Hopefully soon, we will see you with some new music. Take care. God bless.